So this is gonna be a quick video, uh, but this is for those of you out there that have 3D printers, specifically the Form 2 3D printer right here. This is what I used to do different jewelry design, and once I've designed it, I then print it on this. Last night, I had a failed print. And what ends up happening is you end up with, instead of nice liquid resin, you get this. What that is, is actually all the layers of the print itself just floating around because they didn't adhere properly. What happens is you end up with your tray full of all of that gunk that you have to then clean out before you can do another print. I contacted Form 2 about some issues we'd had before and their only suggestion for this was try and filter out the stuff and that's it. Scrape it as good as you can, try and filter it out. Don't ever touch it with a rag. Don't ever wipe it down with anything. I disagreed with that. They told me that the wiping it down with rubbing alcohol, which is what they suggest to use on the printed parts, would actually crack the plastic, but that's not how plastic works. Basically dump it out and then wipe it down with rubbing alcohol. See right here that line? That's not because of the rubbing alcohol. That is because I scraped too hard with the scraper once, but it's still, the tray still works perfect. As long as I don't print in that sp one small line, which I've never had an issue with, it still works great. This is the third or fourth time I've completely wiped down this tray and had everything still print perfectly. When they say that anything you touch it with or do anything can damage it, it's not true. It's so that you'll have to buy another tray. I've made this tray last forever now. So I just want to let you guys know, anybody out there with a Form 2, if you have a failed print, do not be afraid to empty this out and then wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol and a couple cloths. Either just these terry cloths or when I finalize, I use these microfibers to get the glass really clean in there. And yeah, so save yourself the money and just clean it yourself.